Let's imagine you're nestling down for a good nap. You've already been to the market for food, you've filled your pantry, and you even managed to get some brand new bedding. It's cold out and you're definitely ready for a long winter's nap when suddenly someone rudely breaks into your home, screaming, standing on a chair, even though you're just a common house mouse minding his own business in someone's sock drawer. Yes, we think of mice and rats and other critters as pests, vermin, the bad guys. Are they though? Bethany Brookshire tackles this question in Pests, How Humans Create Animal Villains. Quote, pests, the mice, raccoons, and seagulls of the world are not irritating by nature, Brookshire begins. Rather, she explains, they are animal winners on a planet full of loss. When your habitat is full of parking lots and brick apartment buildings and carefully tended gardens, survival isn't about staying sweetly in the woods and meadows. Instead, evolutionary success looks a lot like raiding our trash, nesting in our buildings, and eating our garden down to the nubs, she writes. Nature, you see, evolves with us. We learned a little bit about this in the Natural History of the Future last year. We make these environments, we destroy natural ones, and sometimes the animals we like, our beloved cats for instance, are actually little destruction machines wreaking havoc on natural fauna. What we call a pest and what we call a pet comes down to how we personally interact, but there's so much more to the story. Join us on January 25th for a live stream and chat with Bethany Brookshire as she breaks down the science of our imagined foes.